you know, up until a few weeks ago, it was pretty darn warm here in Toronto, and uh, I was really liking the weather. And uh, the weather has kind of turned. It's gotten really cold. Not, like, super cold, like in like Detroit, where I grew up or anything like that, but significantly more cold, and um, heating is not... Um, is not a look, it's more of a luxury here uh, in Albania, and uh, central heat is not much of a thing in any of the buildings, so we really rely on space heaters. And again, anyways, what, what I really wanted to get at today and share with you is, uh, I have a question, where do you find, uh, how do you find balance? So often we can get thrown off course with uh, extreme situations like, uh, like the cold snap. Uh, and we want to hunker down and, and huddle away and get in our cocoon and pretend like uh, all of our responsibilities and everything uh, we have to show up for doesn't exist. And uh, I just want to uh, share with you, you know, how do you combat that? So often I've been accused of being way too goofy, uh, way too ridiculous, and I find myself, you know, in situations often going from one extreme to the other. I will often find myself, when I'm stressed out, being too, you know, you know, making a joke out of everything and kind of minimizing uh, the difficulty in running away and, or getting stuck in it and taking things way too seriously, maybe becoming very sensitive. Not that sensitivity is a bad thing, but, um, you know, just taking things maybe too seriously or, or overgiving, you know, feeling like I owe something and, and giving too much of myself. And, you know, I just want to share with you, every time I feel off balance, every time I feel... You know, like I'm, I'm giving too much or, you know, there's, there's some, in, you know, there's some inequity um, in uh, the energy of my life, you know, uh, and uh, I'm experiencing extremes. I always want to give myself space. So today I've come out to this park here in Toronto and I wanted to be out in nature and, you know, really feel the sun even if it is cold, to really feel the contrast, feel the sun, you know, feel life, and come out here, and, you know, I, I like, I like to put my feet in the grass, you know, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I like to take my shoes off, I don't care where I am, you know, what kind of looks I get, any of that, take my shoes off, you know, I like to really ground myself, and be with the earth and really like give myself that quiet space, do some journaling, write my gratitude list, you know, kind of do some, you know, just reflecting and give myself that space to find my way back to me, you know, find the quiet, find my way back to me. And that gives me this, you know, listen, listening, listening time. So often when, you know, things aren't going well, we we jump to conclusions, we have to do this, or we have to do that, or we have to, you know, action, action, action. We're so action-oriented in our society, and we're so highly trained to be action-oriented. We never take the time to slow down and to actually come back inside of ourselves, find our own energy, find our own internal map, and really figure out what is important to us. Where is our next step? You know, find our center, find that balance, and move from there instead of getting caught up in the hustle and bustle of the world. And I, you know, this is Toronto's a big city. It's I don't really do cities very much, and so for me, it's like you know, I step outside my door, and there's traffic and noise and people doing stuff, and so coming out to nature and finding this space and like really grounding is so, so vital for me to listen and to reflect and to just get a better sense of, you know, where, 
what I need, where I'm going. And it cultivates that relationship with myself. And the more I do it, the more my internal map is more, you know, the more I have access to it. It's like a muscle. You know, you just, you work it. And the more you, the more you work it, the more available it is for you, the more easy it is to access, the more you understand how it works. And so I just want to leave you with this, that give yourself some space. Create that relationship. Cultivate that relationship and create time with yourself, you know. So often we, you know, find ourselves sucked into all these other relationships. And right now is a great time. Winter time is a great time to really, you know, reflect and come back to ourselves. You know, it's a new year. And figure out what... Uh, is important for us. And when we figure out what's important for us, it's easier for us to move forward in our other, our external relationships and, uh, you know, really find how we connect better in those and how we connect better with the rest of the world. It's that cyclical thing, you know, you develop the relationship with yourself, the easier it is to develop the relationship with the outside. So... Take care of yourselves, love yourself, give yourself some sunlight if you have access to it, you know, give yourself some space, connect with the earth, and take care. Love you all.